Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shantae for those who are new. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Instead of me installing a wig on myself, I'm going to be installing a wig on my friend Cayenne. Um, this is a wig that she did purchase herself and she wanted me to apply it. And I said, girl, let's just do a video with it. Make it cute, okay? Um, and I also want to mention that this video is just real raw, okay? We did this at um, like late at night and I was comfortable, so I skewed the bonnet, but nevertheless, the wig was slayed. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, so let's get into prepping the base. So I'm starting off with the Fantasia Heat Protectant Spray. Um, my friend Cayenne has a very beautiful thick hair, but it is coarse. Um, so while she was coming to my house, her ends did start to revert. So I did have to go through with a blow dryer just to smooth out those ends. So I wouldn't break them off while I was braiding. Um, and also, if you guys have not tried the Revlon Handheld Blow Dryer, girl, where you at? That cuts down the drying time in half. But the wig that we're going to be applying is a T-part wig. So I am going to take a little bit of her edges out just so when we do put the wig on, it looks realistic. We're trying to get frontal vibes, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and braid her down. And yeah, I'll be back. All right, so now that she's all braided now, we're going to give her scalp some loving. I'm using the Mayel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil, as well as the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner. These work amazing together if you suffer from dandruff, um, a flaky, itchy scalp, or even um, scalp paralysis. Definitely give these a try. They've definitely worked for me and my mom as well. Um, they just give that scalp the tingling feeling from the rosemary mint. And then the honey just hydrates the hell out of your hair. Literally one of the best leave-in conditioners I have found to date. So definitely give these a try. So next I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Press Powder to blend her cap in so it looks more realistic underneath the wig because it was coming off a little yellow, but look at her face. <laughs> this was Cayenne's first wig install ever, so she was super nervous through the whole process, but I told you I had you, friend. I had you. <laughs> and next thing I'm going to do is prep the skin. I'm using some alcohol just to clean any other residue before I apply the adhesive. So the adhesive that I'm using for today is the Even Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. Y'all, this is my favorite adhesive spray to date, okay? Got to be glued too, okay? Um, this works so well. And also, I use the red can because it is for active. So if you are planning on doing bus, club, another club, another club, no sleep, definitely get the red one. I haven't tried the yellow one yet, but the red one works for me, okay? And um, now I'm going to go ahead and secure the lace. Doesn't the lace look so good already? But I'm using some pantyhose. Um, I told y'all I am team pantyhose now. Um, it just hurts way less than an elastic band. My ears and my head does not have to feel that tension. So I'm going to go ahead and just prep the hair now. I'm going to go ahead and flat iron it for the crimps and waves. And yeah, I'll let you guys watch and I'll be right back. I
I'm back and I'm using the Morphe times James Charles palette. And honestly, the only reason why I'm using this palette is because it does have one of the most truest blacks that I have out of all my other palettes. So we're going to go ahead and use that to define the part a little bit more. Um, and then we're going to smooth everything out with my pressing comb. This is the Kendra Boutique's pressing comb. I highly recommend it works really well and we're going to smooth everything out just so there's no lumps or bumps or crimps in this wig okay <laughs> and then we're going to get right into my crimp slash waves and the reason why I say that is because um the tool that I'm using is not meant for crimps like it's not marketed towards crimps but it does the job this is the bed head swerve and curve um I picked this up from Walmart it works really well Cayenne did want crimps um I don't actually have like a hot tool for crimp so I like to use this one it works really well and then for the hairspray I'm also um, using the Eben Ahisa spray again this works really well as a hairspray in case you were wondering um, it holds the curls and waves really really nicely but it doesn't make the hair hard and crunchy so that's always a plus <laughs> guys so now we're just fixing the part again and then we're going to start on the baby hairs and that is it for this install um if you guys look at this wig and it looks kind of familiar what well, i did do a review on this exact wig a few months back and my friend actually bought it under my recommendation so i want to thank you cayenne for one supporting me and also being a part of this video i want to thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed like i said everything will be linked down below so don't forget to like this video, comment down below what you'll like to see from me next. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.